As for the criticism of Kyle Flanning, and I find that absolutely ridiculous, I think that young man's had an outstanding season. Number one, he hasn't even played 30 first-grade games yet. All right? He's moved from the Cronulla Sharks, where he was virtually playing in and out of first grade a couple of times, but mainly playing junior football. He's come into a team that were defending premiers. He's had to defend a title he didn't win. All right? He's taking over for a bloke like Cooper Cronk. And it was a big ask. He got targeted every week but stood his ground every week. He kicked some big goals. He kicked field goals. He, he made his tackles every week. He did not lose the Roosters a game at any stage this season. He is not the reason why the Roosters bowed out twice. He's played 30 games. Nathan Cleary is pretty much the same age, but Nathan's had 100 first-grade games. Came through under a different development style, come under a different development system. Kyle Flanagan's football is... They don't all just come together at a certain age and suddenly they do it. Kyle Flanagan is nowhere near the player he's going to be. Neither is Nathan Cleary, for that matter. And you ask the great ones, Cooper Cronk and Jonathan Thurston and Andrew Johns and all those fellas, what they were doing at 22 and 23. All right? Because they weren't doing what these kids are doing now. Was well, the one thing I used to say to Nathan, Nathan, when he was getting that criticism at 18 and 19 and 20, I said, don't listen to that. Be kind to yourself. You know, these other blokes were not doing that at your age. And they weren't doing what Kyle Flanagan did this year. None of those blokes were. Go and ask him. None of those blokes, 22, 23, did what Kyle Flanagan did this year.